Duck plague, also known as duck viral enteritis, DVE, is a highly contagious and often fatal viral disease affecting ducks, geese, and swans. It is caused by the duck plague virus, DPV, a member of the family Herpes viridae. The disease is a significant economic concern in the poultry industry worldwide, as it can result in significant mortality and decreased production. In this article, we will discuss the definition, synonyms, epidemiology, transmission, signs and symptoms, lesions, diagnosis, treatment, vaccination, prevention, and control of duck plague. Definition and synonyms. Duck plague is a viral disease that affects waterfowl, primarily ducks, geese, and swans. It is also known as duck viral enteritis, duck herpes virus, duck enteritis virus, and annotated herpes virus 1. Epidemiology. Duck plague is found worldwide, with outbreaks occurring in both domestic and wild waterfowl. The disease can occur in ducks of all ages, but it is most commonly observed in young birds between 4 and 12 weeks of age. Adult birds can also be affected, but the mortality rate is typically lower. Transmission duck plague is highly contagious and can spread rapidly between birds. The virus is shed in the feces, saliva, and nasal secretions of infected birds and can survive in the environment for several months. The disease can be transmitted through direct contact with infected birds or their excretions, as well as through contaminated feed, water, or equipment. Signs and Symptoms The clinical signs of duck plague can vary depending on the age and species of the affected bird, as well as the severity of the infection. Some of the most common signs and symptoms include depression and lethargy, loss of appetite, diarrhea, difficulty breathing, swollen sinuses, conjunctivitis, greenish yellow discharge from the eyes and nostrils, bloody discharge from the cloaca neurological signs, such as tremors, incoordination, and seizures, lesions. Duck plague can cause a range of lesions in affected birds. These can include necrotic lesions in the liver, spleen, and kidneys, ulcerative lesions in the intestines, hemorrhagic lesions in the lungs and heart, enlarged and hemorrhagic lymph nodes, swollen sinuses with thick, purulent exudate diagnosis. Diagnosis of duck plague is typically based on clinical signs, gross lesions, and laboratory testing. Laboratory testing can include virus isolation, polymerase chain reaction, PCR, and serology. It is important to rule out other diseases that can cause similar clinical signs, such as avian influenza, Newcastle disease, and foul cholera. Treatment. There is no specific treatment for duck plague, and infected birds often die within 24 to 48 hours of the onset of clinical signs. Supportive care, such as keeping affected birds warm and hydrated, may help improve their chances of survival. Antibiotics may be administered to prevent secondary bacterial infections. Vaccination vaccination is the most effective way to prevent duck plague. Several vaccines are available, including live attenuated, inactivated, and recombinant vaccines. Vaccination should be performed in young birds, ideally between two and four weeks of age, and repeated every four to six months. Prevention and control. Prevention and control of duck plague involve implementing strict biosecurity measures, including maintaining a closed flock and preventing contact with other waterfowl quarantining new birds before introducing them to the flock cleaning and disinfecting equipment and facilities.